tank for our main event of the evening. It is for the unified Super Middleweight Championship of the World. 73,126 in the United States. Demetrius Andrade in the house, Carl. Errol Spence. So although that was Billy Joe's round, good shot from Canelo. Here's the Gypsy King. There's the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, Mr. Jerry Jones. Because Canelo what? really is that infuriate. I mean, he's, he's such a big force in the ring. Jab, that number jumps in the high 60s. What he... No, I was surprised when Eddie Reynoso and Canelo said that we're going to take First, a jab from Saunders. He doesn't want to throw anything because he knows that counter left cross will be coming back. Just out of range, but he's in the danger zone when he backs up here into the corner. Also in the United Kingdom, good morning to you. To just close him down and unload it with a power shot. Canelo looking for a right uppercut. He threw a time Canelo when he moves in. I said, can Saunders do that? I said, yes, but you have to do it for 12 rounds. Canelo is going to do it when I think he's going to do. However, after all the trash talk Billy Joe Saunders has given us, I can knock him out. He seems to overwhelm Billy Joe together and then get out of range. Top is not careful. He's got to concentrate constantly, but he's his big shot he's not really oh, there's a right hand that moves him back. And there it is again to the body. Exactly 70 days from one another for a fighter in present day boxing. Yeah mo to close the distance start breaking the distance. You can see the effects instantly. You can tell Billy Joe is no, right hand, best punch of the fight. Canelo doubled up. Now these are heavy blows from Canelo. He's putting lots. The jab is key as well. There it is. That's the left hand. You got to get respect from Canelo. Canelo lands on the side of the head, right on the neck. Boxers aren't accustomed to getting hit in the neck, and it's an awkward punch, awkward. Landing his power shots, and Billy Joe Saunders, he should have these big shots, because Canelo would be happy to just back him up like that. Strip. Now he's throwing more power punches. He's certainly settling in. Canelo, maybe you could get something going with the combination, just like that. The judge's eyes. Don't just sit there and soak up these big counters. To the crowd's reaction. And that's the... Straight right hand from Cano to the body Ooh. as well. There's the uppercut, and he nods yes that time. Mouthpiece almost came flying out of BJ Saunders there. He's put more shots together. He's, he's landed more shots, been a bit more effective. This is a good round by BJ Saunders. That's what we're seeing here is a nice little short uppercut from Canelo, almost knocking out the gum shot of Billy Joe Saunders. The head with that same power that he's feeling on his own. The distance and then some good shots. They eventually catch up with you. And there's another one. Ribs and that takes out. Oh, nice here. double jab there. The fight in his favor. Canelo said it's going to take me a while. Technician, then Canelo in the ring. He's definitely crafty and clever. I mean, he uses the pivots, he uses angles. He's oh, always... nice left hook from Saunders. Should have punched. He's gonna... scoring more right now, Chris Mannix, but he's fighting with confidence. He is fighting. He's a little, he's a little off. Relax. He doesn't throw the punch at us. Oh, that's he landed on Canelo. 20 seconds to go in this. Look at that big left hand by Saunders, Carl. So he's well balanced, and that was a nice little cheeky shot on the break. Over these last two rounds of taking the momentum back, you saw the second and third round. It was a close round. Can't argue for when the other way, but Canelo's looking for the big shot. There you go, the big heavy shot. Not to let his hands go. Swing and a miss by Canelo. You don't see a miss. Doing the job defensively. Oh, but with the jab, smart jab, just like that. Smart jab, yeah, don't get too relaxed. You said yourself when his arms come down low and it off. That's right, he's doing exactly what. He's putting the ring off Canelo. Age of pressure. I think Joe Saunders can relax. Right around the guard, too. Landed on the chin. Saunders shook it off. Sticks his tongue out right now. That's a Tyson Fury move. Playing to the crowd. The opponent, he makes, he makes you keep your punches holstered. This is what BJ Saunders needs to do. Catch and counter every single time, right in the bread basket, right there. By Canelo, but catch and counter if you're Billy Joe, once in the inside. So here we go, round seven, scheduled for 12. This is for the unified super middleweight. Some thought this would be a walkover for Canelo. It has not. 
more than any opponent I've seen since Gennady Golovkin. He's throwing combinations. They're not as impactful as Golovkin. Roy, what are you seeing from B.J. Saunders? Right now, uh, the, 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 the tide has changed. The tide just a little bit, and uh, Canelo. Uppercut from Canelo. For Canelo to land a big shot. And that extremely close. Canelo continued him out a little bit. I think he's definitely trying to figure him out. In either round seven, eight, or nine. 68, 66, Canelo. He's only two rounds old. Saunders took an awkward step back. And you see Canelo landing big shots if he's here. And look, the, the, the right eye of Saunders is swelling up. His troops here at AT&T Stadium. He breaks down a pencil, a pencil that makes him weary of this shot that are coming their way. He's like a matador. Well, that's the power from Canelo. Yeah, Billy Joe needs to hear this bell here, go to the corner and regroup. Nice left uppercut from Canelo. This is it. So perhaps order has been restored if you're a... Every time we talk about the need to have a championship heart, to go out on your shield. After the fight, but sometimes he puts it on cruise control and re uh, forgets about the second half. He was waving the crowd up, whipping them into a frenzy. He wanted to go out and get the knockout. Or, or feel the pain in the back of the eye. You don't know if it's a retinal damage. You don't know what it is, and you have to be careful. Canelo Alvarez, though, deserves all the credit. Ladies and gentlemen, acting on the advice of Saunders Corner, the referee calls a halt. To the contest, the winner by TKO victory, the unified super middleweight champion of the world, Canelo.